when I was attending McMaster, I was in the um, Bachelor of Music program, and I graduated in the year 2000. Currently, I am a music teacher um, at Alexander's Public School with the Halton District School Board. My role as a teacher, it varies. Uh, right now, I teach uh, grades 4 to 8, but it also depends on what my schedule is like. Sometimes I have some grade 3s in my schedule. Uh, but my main priority is uh, running the music program for the older students at the school. Uh, so mainly instrumental music. Um, I do some vocal, but not much, because uh, we have primary teachers that teach music and kind of handle that. I think most of my transferable skills were the fact that I was um, heavily into the music program at McMaster, so most of my schedule uh, comprised of taking music courses. Knowing that I was going into music education, um, I tried to take as many of the music education courses that they had there, so the brass methods, woodwind methods. The music educa um, education um, classes really helped obviously in the teaching part of my career because you know it was it's just my philosophy if if I'm going to be teaching students how to play these instruments I should know how to play them really well myself so that was a huge thing for me um, but I also had because of my interest in the theory and harmony I also transferred that into what I, I, I have a fairly successful composing career now and I write um, music for bands um, for school bands and ensembles as well Well, obviously you have to go to teacher's college in order to uh, teach in an elementary or a secondary school in Ontario. Um, I attended OISE, uh, which is part of U of T. Um, so that's where I got my teaching degree. Now, over the, the years since I started teaching, which was 12 years ago, um, they have changed the program a lot. So that the students that are going into teacher's college are getting a lot more experiences in the field um, and getting to actually active, actively be a part of the class all the time. So even if, if people are at, attending Mac now and are thinking about education, they, they need to find ways to volunteer in schools. Um, you know, if, instead of having a day off, uh, you know, when they get a break in their schedule, they should be going and looking for a school in their neighborhood or you know, just volunteering, helping out with the teachers. They can do one on help the teachers do one on one stuff. Another big thing, um, and, and I'll just speak from the music standpoint, just because that's where I teach. Um, but from the music standpoint, you, you have to think what your students are going to struggle with and what a beginning like. Even us as musicians, we know from when we started playing an instrument, we knew what was difficult to learn how to do, whether it's remembering how to read music, um, knowing how to make a sound out of the instrument. We all know what the struggles were. Um, some students are naturally talented and they just do it with zero problem, and some students really struggle. So my big thing, as I mentioned before, was just take those um, education courses, whatever is available, take brass methods, take woodwind methods, take string methods, vocal methods, just to, to know um, how to do those basic things so you can teach your students the best possible way that you can. In terms of a composition standpoint, if that's something that some of the um, music majors are thinking about, not just the education, um, you know, take as much um, of the, the theory courses as you can again. I know sometimes, you know, when we're thinking long term, some people are thinking, well, you know, I want to teach in secondary school, so, um, you know, I need my major in music, and then I also need a minor in something else. So then they have to focus a part of their schedule on some of those things. So wherever you can, fit in some of the theory courses. Um, start looking at example like if you know what kind of music you want to compose you need to start looking and listening to some of that music if you want to be able to compose for an orchestra you need to just get into the library I know when I was there there you know we were still in the tape era so 
you know, and trying to assign the tapes out from behind the counter so that you can sit and listen in the tape area of of, um, of uh, the humanities library. Is if you are thinking education, um, try to get a minor. I didn't get a minor um, because I wasn't interested in anything but music. Um, I started with math in my second year. I just I, I kind of gave it a break, and then. You know, now as a teacher, I kind of wish I continued along with the math just because it would open up the door and the possibility of me teaching secondary music, which I don't have uh, because I don't have the qualification because you need a minor um, in something. So if they can't fill up your um, if they can't fill up your schedule with music because there's not enough students taking music, they have you teach another subject, and I don't have a second strength. You know, when it comes to being able to teach some of those uh, students preparing for uh, post-secondary education, so.